Where have you been? Your Honor, we have been here for a long time today. We have heard from the boyfriends. We have heard from the friends of those boyfriends. And we have even heard from the guys that can only remember her as that random fun girl from the party. Everyone makes mistakes. But for some reason, only certain mistakes seem to have public repercussions. The defendant has lived up to the reputation that has preceded her, and it is because of that repeated behavior that I move that she should have to keep this reputation for the rest of her life. Regrets always seem to live on with voices, and that is usually enough to keep most people in denial or hiding. Others, however, get to the place where they are ready to take those voices head on. Those are the people I choose to defend in the court of public opinion. My name is Jeffrey Bateman, the lawyer. And yes, it's spelled... Yeah, I don't know why I don't change it. Good luck defending this girl. Mr. Batman. You're up. It's Bateman. Your Honor. Yeah. Oh. The prospector has brought forth ample evidence pointing to this young lady's guilt. Irrefutable sworn testimonies, documented text messages, and shared social media posts all to convince the court that she deserves to have a certain reputation of a certain lifestyle for the rest of her life. I'm aware of this, Counselor. What's your point? My point is, my client has made my job very difficult today, and I'm not a good enough lawyer to beat the prosecutioner. Therefore, I would like to recuse myself from this hearing, citing the 1882 case of Rock versus Hard Place. I thank you. Denied. And for the sake of your client, I hope that you have another idea. Well, I don't, so give me a sec. Your Honor, can I just put myself on the stand? <laughs> what are you doing? This is stupid. Sit down. Why? Because you are guilty. That's fine with me. Prosecution? By all means, Your Honor. No, wait. No, wait. Hey, stop. What are you doing? You can't do this. Why? Look, if your goal is to help yourself, then I'll help you with that. But if your goal is just to get up there and be defiant, she's going to chew you up and spit you out. You're a defense attorney, okay? I'm gonna go sit where people who need defending sit. You know how much better of a lawyer she is than I am? <sighs> this is not just defiance. After hearing the testimony of your friends today, do you have anything to say to defend yourself? Your Honor, I object. Why? Because my client's making my job so hard. Good. So the rumors are true majority of them. And the nicknames are based on things that actually happened. Yes. And the stories that this is a mistake that you keep going back to, those are also true. Yes. So I suppose the reason you are so eager to take the stand today is to let the world know that you have made peace with your mistakes and to let everyone know that there is nothing that they can say that will get to you anymore. Wow, you're as smart as my lawyer says you are. Mm, I see, and you have totally forgiven yourself. Yes. Totally, I see. Liar. Where did you get my journal? Uh, your Honor, I object. The prosecutioner stole her diary, which is uh, creepy. I'm going to allow it. You see, there are plenty of things in here that would suggest that you have not forgiven yourself. This is how you see yourself when you're not acting tough. Stop it. You certainly found a lot of different ways to say you hate yourself. Very impressive adjectives. Nothing further, Your Honor. You want me to help you take them on or take on the real problem? I'm apologizing in advance. This is not going to be easy for you. Hurry up, counsel.
Judging by your reaction, can we assume that she's telling the truth? Yes. Why do you hate yourself? Because I feel guilty. The part where he determines whether you're guilty or not comes at the end, so I wouldn't use that word. I made a mistake. I was, I was terrified. I felt horrible. Never wanted it to happen again, and I, I was confident that it wouldn't. But then it got out. People started whispering and talking. Then came the eye rolling, the nicknames, and the reputation. Before I knew it, that confidence I had was gone. I was alone. That loneliness turned into guilt. They're your friends. Why are they saying those kind of things about you? <laughs> That's the funny part. Most of them were no better. But they never seemed to feel bad, and because I did, it made it easy for them to rip on me, I guess. Then why did this problem come back? Why live down to their expectations of you? They were reminding me of my guilt faster than I could push it away again. I mean, before I knew it, I was more familiar with who I'd become than with who I used to be. Now, I don't even have to be around anymore for me to hear what they have to say. But their voices aren't even the worst part. Your Honor, I think we have heard enough of this well-rehearsed story. What voice are you talking about? One that she tells here today with conviction but one that she keeps writing more chapters for. Your Honor, can I have my lawyer read something from my journal? And why should we have Save to- Save it. Proceed. A poem? Read it. The voices I hear, the voices I fear, speak from my pillow to my ear. Lights leave the room while the monsters loom. My quality, their appetite, they bite and consume. The time I'm weak is the, the time, time they, they speak. speak. The time, time my, my pillow, pillow kisses, kisses my cheek. So I fear the dark. I can't find a spark to light the candle that halts their hark. These voices in the line with deceptive shine. And on the worst nights, they sound like mine. You wrote this? Yes. I don't need you or anyone else to remind me of what I've done. I'm doing a fine job of that on my own. After hearing how hard you are on yourself, why do you keep hanging out with these friends? If they just make things worse, and they're so hypocritical, then... Wait! Oh, yes. No more paper airplanes, no, no, Mr. No, no, no. Batman. Your Honor, this is all a very sad story, but I think we have heard enough testimony enough. from her friends to, I would like to have all the testimonies deemed uh, in of uh, admissible. On what grounds? Well, on the grounds of us, uh, right here, Splinter versus Plank. In Splinter versus Plank, the courts ruled that long ago, a witness could not condemn someone else if they are guilty of anything. See? It was in a book, I read it, and I used it in court. The only way that they could speak out against my client is if they come clean about their own actions. Are they up for that? I didn't think so. 
since they attacked my client from a position of superiority and hypocrisy, their words cannot stand. Your Honor, we cannot have people taking the law into their own hands, being mean and judgmental. That's your job. Your Honor, this does not... Quiet. In light of this evidence, this court finds the defendant as innocent and strikes down any motion to make this her permanent identity. Yes. However, her reputation as it is in the eyes of her peers still stands until further notice. Wait, what? But, but I thought she just said I was not guilty. No, you, you aren't guilty, but it doesn't change the things that they said about you if they're based on truth. Are they true? Well, well yes. Then in the eyes of the court, you're not guilty, but in the eyes of the people in your life that know that stuff, you are, and it's gonna take a while to mend that. But, but that's not fair. Uh, actually, it is fair. The choices that you make, they have consequences. I'm just so tired of feeling guilty. No, oh, but that's just it. You're not guilty of anything. You've just been given freedom from your guilt. It's great. And no one can make you carry that again. I just don't think I can do it on my own. On your own? Did you miss something? I just listed off that there's a ton of other guilty people out there. Find one that's actually honest and, I don't know, look out for each other. That's fair enough. Sometimes, a not guilty verdict can still carry with it a sentence that is unbearable for the defendant. There will always be people who want other people to be guilty simply to make themselves feel better. And because of that, innocent people will have a hard time finding out that they have been set free. <laughs>